While functional protocols deal with emergency types of functions such as lockdown and reverse evacuation, it's also helpful to have what we call incident specific protocols which involve responses and action steps for specific types of incidents such as a uh, tornado, a person uh, who is reported to be carrying a weapon, a person who is using a weapon, and uh, maybe a person who takes hostages. Uh, each of these three, for example, involving weapons would all, we would recommend a specific and distinct incident-specific protocol because the responses for all three of those cases are actually different and it would be dangerous to lump them under one heading. So incident-specific protocols give us guidance for a unique and specific type of incident such as a, an intruder in our building uh, or uh, other type of incident where functional protocols can be used as part of the action steps for these. For example, during a hostage situation, you would implement typically a lockdown, uh, implement the NIMS protocol, the media protocol, and some of the other functional protocols as a means to deal with a specific type of incident.